welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I know this is something different. I used to do Dollar Tree hauls from time to time on my channel or different types of hauls. So I still do them, just not as often. So I picked up a few items and I wanted to come and show you guys those items today. So sit back and relax and see what I have. So the first couple items I picked up were items that I am going to use. Um because I want to do this DIY and I'm not sure if we're going to record a DIY or not because I'm not the best DIYer. Is that a word? DIYer? Well, y'all know what I'm talking about, but I'm not the best. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I don't know. I may, I may not, but to, to do the project, I picked up two, a, a two piece of this tool bench right here. So I picked up this big one. And I picked up this like medium sized one. So, cause I didn't know which one I would need. So I picked up two of them um, to paint this DIY sign thing that I'm trying to do. So I picked up these. I hope these are not like the ones that, you know sometimes when you paint um, something and these are like the little fibers or whatever on the, um, the item that you painted. So I hope this is not like these. If they are, you guys, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know. So I picked up this. And then I picked up two of these because I did not know how much I would need and they were $3 a piece and they are the pre-mixed pouring paint in the color onyx right here and each one is eight fluid ounces right here and they are $3 so I picked up two of these so we'll see we'll see then I picked up um let me get into the other stuff. Okay. So then I picked up, I already opened this one, but I opened it because this stuff been sitting here for a couple of days and I, I need to make me some coffee and I wanted to try this. And also it could be like a little review for you guys too. So the first one I picked up was the Sweet Sensations Sugar Free Salted Caramel right here. And this is what it looks like. And it is 12 fluid ounces. And this is really good, you guys. It is really, really good. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, watery or not have any flavor, but it has really good flavor. Um, it really tastes like salted caramel, but it wasn't overpowering. And it's really good. It's really, really good. So I purchased this one. And then I also picked up, but I haven't tried this one yet, the Sweet Sensations Pumpkin Spice Sugar-Free um, one as well. Right here. And... Um, I guess you probably can use these in other things too. I just use mine in coffee, but right here on the back, it says you can use it in teas, coffee, hot cocoa, um, sparkling waters, milkshakes, shaved ice, and sodas. So, you know, I guess you could probably use it in other things as well, like they say up here. Um, so yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty good. I can't wait to try the pumpkin spice one, so we'll see how that turns out. And then... Y'all, I really, really need to try, honestly, to get this stuff out. Like, this is supposed to have been out, but I'm going to try to get it out today. Sorry for the noise of the bag. But I picked out, I'm in, like, this card group. Um, I love sending cards. I just think it's, it's like, something to, like, uplift someone's heart. So, I'm in this card group, and what we do is we send um, I don't know what it's called, card group, or what do you call it? Card exchange group, yeah. So, like, we send each other cards. And and some people are not in the group, but I, I'm, like, friends with them, so I still send them cards. And we send each other cards for, like, Christmas and Thanksgiving and sometimes Halloween, Easter, things like that. So I picked up these cards for that group. I'm not going to go through and read all the cards or anything like that, but I'm, I'm going to show you, like, the, um, the picture of the cards. So the first one I picked up right here... And it just says, God bless you on the front right here. And I love this pattern right here. And this is the inside if you want to pause it and read it. That's the inside right here. And then I picked up um, this one right here. That says, warm wishes for the whole family right here. Like it's so cute with the little woodland animals up there. And then this is the inside. If you want to pause it and read it, you can do that. And then I picked up this one right here. Treasured are the blessings we enjoy with special friends, gifts of love and caring that our faithful father sends. 
So that's this one right here. And these are for Thanksgiving um, right here. And then this is the inside for here. And then for this one, I liked it so much. I like all of them, but I just love this one. So I picked up three of them right here. One, two, three. And it just says Happy Thanksgiving, but it has like all the cute little things that you would, have, you know, like the pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie, the turkey and things like that. And then this is the inside right here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to get these out today, like today, so that people can get them before Thanksgiving. I'm usually pretty good about getting my cards out like pretty early, but lately, I don't know, I've been like a little bit off. So, um, I got to get back doing the, you know, doing what I need to do. So, I'm going to get those out today, so hopefully everyone will get them by the end of the week or the beginning of next week, because next week is Thanksgiving. I think next week is Thanksgiving. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I had a brain fart. I just had to pause for a minute, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. And then I picked up this 14-piece um, right here, wood-shaped ornament. And they're made like little um, bales. You can see them right here. And I'm doing like this rustic theme this year for the holidays. So I want all my decorations to um, look like rustic. Um... My goal was to have more decorations by now, but I haven't. So, I don't know how good it's going to look this year, but I'm going to make it do what it do. But, um, yeah, so I picked these up. And I'm, it's got the, I have to get, get some burlap that I can put in the middle to just tie up here to put on my tree. But it's a 14 count. And then I picked up these right here that go with the theme. And I might, like, you know, add a little something to it, but... Um, I have the little truck right here with a little Christmas tree on it right here and then I have the little Santa right here and then I have the little um, gingerbread a little Christmas house Christmas house right here I love the little light details and then this little like little snow on the rooftop. And then the last one I have is like this little star right here. And you can always DIY these and do whatever you want to do. I'm thinking about maybe like taking some rub off, rub off transfers and putting something across the top. So I'm thinking about doing that too. So we shall see. Um, the next thing I picked up were a couple of like food items. And I picked up, I think I showed you guys actually in the video, but I picked up the original Spree six candy canes right here. And they look super yummy. Um, and it doesn't say like what type of flavor it's supposed to be. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a flavor of Spree, but I mean like it's supposed to taste more like a cherry type Spree or like all the Sprees together. I'm not sure, but maybe I'll do a taste test. And see um, what they taste like. But you get six of them. And then right here, I have the Funfetti candy canes right here. It's also a six count. And they look so yummy. They look so pretty. It reminds me of like a birthday party or something. Right here. So I'm super excited to try those. I know they're supposed to go on a tree. But I just want to eat them. Because they just look so good. And then I have, I'm going to try to, this year I want to do something different for um, some of my friends for Christmas. For like, um, just like a little pick me up because they've been going through a lot of things, um, you know, in life. Life sometimes gets the best of you. And to, I want to like, we always just do gift cards for each other. But I want to like add a little something to their gift to, to make them feel extra special. And so, um... I picked up this drizzled popcorn black and white sugar cookie right here. It is, how many ounces? Oh, it's 15 ounce bag right here. And it looks super, super yummy. Look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh, I want to eat that right now. So I picked up this, and I actually picked up two of these. So I picked up two of these. 
And I'm thinking about maybe going back and get some more. Um, I'm going to send out two baskets, but I may send out a third one, so I'm not sure. So I might have to go back and get one more. I'm not sure. I want to eat. And then I also picked up a drizzle popcorn and peppermint crunch, which is also 15 ounces right here. And look at how that looks. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. So, 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 so good. So I picked up two of these as well. Two of these. And then I did pick up, I think I showed you guys some of those polishes um, in one of my walkthroughs. And I did pick up several polishes. Now, what do I have to say about polish? Y'all, Polish and I, we don't get along. I did my nails and I, in one of the colors, and I'll show you the color right here. And the good thing, you cannot see it up close because I think I told you guys in a previous video that I paint like a kindergartner. Like, I paint... <laughs> I paint my nails like I'm in kindergarten. Like, honestly, a toddler could probably paint their nails better than me. And I don't know. It's always been that way. I'm trying to think, has it always been that way? But I'm pretty sure it has. Um, and it's gotten worse because, you know, I've had surgeries on my hands. And the doctors say I'm losing feeling in both of my hands and arms. So it is worse. But before that, y'all, before that, I have could not paint my nails. So I did purchase this... Um, product from Amazon that you put like around your nails and it's almost like a glue and it like helps helps you um so you're, you won't get polished everywhere and then when you're done with your nails you just peel it off and that did help this time I still had to use some um, finger polish remover to get some of the finger polish off but I cannot paint my nails I don't know what it is like I just cannot paint my nails but I want to try to get better so the only way to get better is to practice so the only way to practice is you need to finger polish so I threw away a lot of my old finger polish so now I'm getting these new colors so I picked up the CB I also, some of these are going to be, a lot of these are going to be used for my toes, too, when I go get pedicures. Because for some reason, when I go get a pedicure, I want to use my own polish a lot of times. If I'm not getting gel, I want to use my own polish. Does anyone else does that, do that? Because I do that, but I don't know. So, I chose um, these colors. So, the CB with hardeners, um, this beautiful pink right here. And it is so pretty. Look at that color, you guys. So pretty. And it is 0 0.37 ounces, so this pink. But this will probably be for, like, Valentine's Day or, like, the spring or summertime. Or probably could be for any time because I just, you know. And then I picked up this color. The um, Let me see if they have a color on it, though. Oh, they do. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. So this says... Okay. Oh, this says... Meow. The color is meow. I don't know if you can see that right there. See right there, it says meow. Okay, so that's that color. And then you have this one that says snatched. Y'all know when people be saying I'm snatched. Yes. So I have this color right here, and it is red, but it says snatched. So snatched. And I love this color right here. So pretty. And then I have this hot pink color. Because, y'all, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. Because I mostly like white, neutral colors. That's all I do. Now, on my toes, sometimes I'll be a little bit creative. On my nails, I'm like a neutral type person. So, I'm trying to get out of my box a little bit. Um, and this color is Real Deal. Because what? I'm the real deal, and you're the real deal. So this is the hot pink color right here. So pretty. So pretty. It reminds me of like bubblegum a little bit. Or maybe the other one reminds me of bubblegum. And then this one right here is, I just say white, but this says white out. So it is white out. It's awesome. All of these are the CB, um, CB collection. So this is white out right here. So pretty. And then this one, this purple one is a little drama because sometimes in our life we have a little bit of drama. Some people have a little more drama than others, but we're not even going to get into that. But, so, we have this right here, this color right here. So pretty. 
And then we have this beautiful blue color. It's called Deep Dive, which is kind of cool because it's blue, so it's like the sea. Um, and this is the color right here. And y'all, all of these are definitely out of my comfort zone, like really out of my comfort zone. And then this is the color that I used, and it is Just Bitten. This remind me of a vampire. So, yeah. But this is the color that I just used right here. So, this is how it turned out on my nails, if you guys can see. Right here. Now, remind you, your nails may not look like my nails. Because I paint like someone, yeah, a toddler. But anyway, and then I purchased the rapid coats too. And one thing I can say is that these rapid coats, they really do help dry your nails like really, really quick. So I purchased two of these, of the rapid coats, to go with the same brand. So, so far I like it. Um, I know some people were saying that when you when you apply the polish, it looks like um, dull until you until you apply the, the clear coat on it. But mine didn't look dull, but then again, I don't really paint my nails that great. <laughs> So it could look dull and I just didn't pay attention to it. But I like it. Now, um, I painted them three days ago. And like I said, I'm not the best painter. So it's been like three days. Duh. Three days, Jante. Three days. And so far, I haven't experienced like any chipping or anything like that. So that's pretty good. So I'm hoping to at least get a week's wear out of it. I don't know. But I like it so far. And then the last thing. Oh, y'all. Right quick before I get to the last thing. So I think I showed you guys these in my walkthrough. These Ice Mountain um, Sparkling Natural Spring Waters. Why am I so close in y'all face? Oh, let me back up. So I have the Pomegranate Lemonade and it is 12 ounces. And then I have the um, Orange. Okay, I'm going to say this. This is what I'm going to say. They're empty, not because I drunk them. They're empty because I did a taste test. I tasted them, and I literally almost puked. Now, let me say this first. I have a hate, a love-hate relationship with anything sparkling. So it's either going to be a yes or a no. It's nothing in the middle. Um... Some sparkling things I can drink and they're fine. These were not good to me. To me. These were not good to me. Um, it tastes like... <laughs> I'm not even going to tell y'all what I'm about to say. I'm about to say it tastes like hot... Okay, now, I'm not even going to tell y'all what I think it tastes like. But anyway... It, it, it's just not for me. Now, someone else may like them. Like, you know those, what are um what are those waters in the green bottle, but they're like sparkling waters? It begins with a P. I can't think of the name right now. But people love them. So, I don't like them. So, um, I guess if you like them, you'll probably like that. I did not like it. Um, I felt like it just wasn't good. That's what I'm going to say. It just wasn't good to me. Um, uh, but I will say, you know, if you like sparkling stuff and you want to give it a try, be my guest and let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay. So the last couple of things I picked up were, y'all know I'm silly. So sometimes I just, I, I have to have a better filter and sometimes I just tell things the way it is and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But, so I picked up this. I always use this. This Pond's Perfect um, Color comp Complex Anti-Mark for Natural Color. Normal to dry skin, 40 milliliters, 1.35 fluid ounces. I always use this on my face right here. And when I went this time, they normally always have this. But for some strange reason, this time, can I get the focus? Um, this time, they don't, I had to dig high and low. High and low to find. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. 
I had to dig high and low to find this, y'all. Like, it was like pulling teeth. They only had one left. And I'm like, oh, man. Like, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. And I put this on my face um, in the morning when I wash my face and before I go to bed. And it's, like, really good. Now, I will say it does not have any SPF in it. So if you're going to wear it during the summertime, you might want to put some SPF either on it after it. I think I'm not a beauty gear rose. I don't know if you put on before or after, but you can, you know, whatever. But um, you do have to add that on. But I love it. My face is always moisturized. My face is clear. It doesn't break me out. And good to go. Then I picked up this um, little decor, decoration piece ornament that says Hope right here. I love the black and white and the wood grain, the little berries on it. I told you guys I'm trying to do rustic this year. So... Yeah, I have this one that says Hope. And then I have this one that says Snow. So, and this one has, well, they both have a little bow. And you can see little berries and little um, pine cones right there, mini pine cones. So, I love those two. Oh, gosh, 21 minutes. Let me hurry up, you guys. Then I picked up these stickers. This is a 14 count right here of stickers. Right here. They're super cute. And look at the little reindeer right here. You have Mrs. Claus. You have Mr. Claus. You have a little house, a little tree. I just love these stickers right here. They're so cute. And like I said, it's a 14 count. And then this is a 9 count. And these are like three-dimensional. And this says, like, let it snow. Look at him with his little glasses on. And he's Santa Claus about to have some hot cocoa. Look at the little tr little beetle with tree on it. It's just so cute. And it is a nine count. And then the last couple of items are for the plus section. And I picked up this Joy to the World. When I tell you guys this is heavy, it is heavy. And it was $5 right here. And this is what it looks like. I love this. Like it's so pretty, but also so simple. And it says Joy to the World right here and then I picked up this one that says home for the holidays it was also five dollars and it says home for the holidays I love this with the little burlap ribbon bow up there it has a little house with a little greenery and then there's one other thing I'm going to show you let me pause it right quick because it's super big and I will turn you guys around I right, so all right, you guys, so I also have this sign right here that says Farm Fresh Christmas Tree right here. Oop, guys are turning. Cut and carry, so nice right here. I love this. This was also $5. Okay, you guys, so that sums up my Dollar Tree haul. Those are all the things I picked up from my Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you saw some goodies that you would definitely like to go and purchase. If there are some things that you like, I want you to put in the comment maybe one to two to three things that you saw in this video that you want to try or that you like, or maybe some things that you've seen that I purchased that you also have purchased. So don't forget to do what? Like, comment, and subscribe, and do what? Love. Is this how you do a love thing? Okay, we just going to say love yourself because self-love is the best love. And thank you guys for coming to my channel to enjoy my silliness and just for all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.